Hello everyone, I just wanted to take a quick look at Windows 7. This is going to be the next version of Windows after Windows Vista. I'm just going to show you some of the basic changes that they've made. Uh, I'll show you some more of the advanced changes they've made in a, a different video. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you that this is official and show you which version I'm running. Uh, you can do this on your home computer. I'm going to go to Windows key R and type in WinVer. Click OK. There it is, Windows 7 Ultimate. Now you'll notice that down here it says version 6.1. Uh, it actually should be 7.1, but Microsoft is trying to trick the operating system into thinking it's a older version of Windows, uh, Windows Vista. Now this is a pre-beta build, so it's not even a beta yet, so there's gonna be might be a few glitches, a few little problems here and there but it won't be released for another year or two, so you have to wait on it. Now I'm going to take a look down low at one of the most obvious changes, which is the taskbar. Let's close this. Uh, the start button is basically the same. Microsoft has added a glow effect. Great job, Microsoft. And the start menu is basically the same. They haven't really changed much. Close that. The quick launch bar is basically the same. A few icons there. I'm going to go over here to the navigation area. That's also basically the same. Uh, there's a few little changes there, but nothing worth mentioning. Of course, the real big change is right here in the applications area. Microsoft has gotten rid of the rectangular icons and they switched to these square icons. And you'll notice that some of them, or this one right here actually is raised, and the rest of them aren't. That's because these four are pinned to the taskbar, so they're not actually running, but you can click them to open up in the application. Now I've got Firefox running here, and if I put my mouse over it, get a little preview pop-up. Now that preview can be helpful, uh, but I also want to take a look at this to the right. This is a jump list. Now each application has a customized a jump list and for this I can either pin it to the taskbar or open up another instance of it and actually I'll I'll pin it down show you how that works so now I can right click this and close it and it will still stay on the taskbar now I'll open one of these up it's pretty simple you still get the preview now I'm going to open up a couple more of these. You can either click this arrow and click here. It'll open up another instance of it. Or a quick way to do that is to middle click the icon. Now unfortunately you can only have so many preview windows. Uh, it's based on the width of your desktop. So if you have a widescreen monitor you can have more than you can if you have a standard size monitor. So I'm going to open up a few of these and show you what happens. and your previews vanish and now you gotta click on the icon and you can get a Windows Vista style pop-up so I'm gonna close one of these and I get my preview back okay I'm gonna close these down you have a few ways to close these boxes you can either click the X that pops up eh, it's pretty fast but a quicker way to do that is to middle click and you can close your windows really fast that way. Another way to do it is to right click the icon and close the whole group. So they've added a few more things. Should help you be more productive. Uh, they've also added ways to move the windows around. So I'll open a few of these up. Middle click to open a new window. And I'll move these around the screen. Shuffle them around. So you got a bunch of windows opened. You've got a few ways to arrange the windows. You can move them over to the right. And it'll give you a split screen view of it. You can take it over to the left. And it moves it to the other side. Or you can go to the top. And you'll get a full screen view of it. Now unlike other versions of windows, you can actually move the window when it's in full screen mode. 
which makes things a lot quicker. Normally you'd have to restore it and then move it. Now you can drag it right away. One of the most popular ways to manipulate the windows is to shake one of the windows. So I've got all these windows here, I'm trying to get rid of them, I just shake it. And it gets rid of the windows. Now you shake it again, and they pop back up. Now you have the quick launch bar on the far left, and you have your pinned icons, but that's kind of redundant because you can either click on one of these to open up the application or click here. So I'll just get rid of the quick launch bar altogether. And uh, now you have more room to work with. And actually you can move these icons around and sort them however you want. I uh, like it like this. Now if you right click the taskbar, you have your toolbars. These are all basically the same. I'm going to take a look at the tablet PC input panel. Now if you have a tablet PC, this is very useful. You probably have already used this. This is a newer version that they've updated for Windows 7. And if you have Windows Vista, you can check this out too. So I don't have a, I don't have a pad or anything. I'm just going to use a mouse. But I'll show you how this works. It's usually pretty accurate. Now it does have a built-in dictionary, but you can just type any letter and it will usually recognize it. And there you go. Now I'll try some cursive, even though I'll probably murder it. Keep in mind I'm using a mouse. Hopefully it'll recognize it. If it can recognize this, it can recognize anything. Nice. Windows 7. And you can also click on one of these and type individual characters. I think I'll add a smiley face. Big smile. Or maybe Windows 7 won't be so good. Maybe a little frown face. And there's that. Came out pretty good. Add a question mark. Period. And that's that. Microsoft has also made changes to MS Paint and the calculator. But well, just little tweaks around the system. Well, that's some of the basic changes that they've made. Uh, keep in mind that this is a beta, so anything could change between now and then. But you can go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see in Windows 7. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to show you, I can show you that. Are you excited about Windows 7? Do you not give a shit? Or do you just hate Windows altogether and you're going to stick with your MacBook? Okay, that's it. I'm out.